IPL is one of the new treatments currently being used to treat dry eye, particularly for evaporative dry eye caused by my Bohmian gland dysfunction. IPL stands for Intense Pulsed Light Therapy. So although everyone thinks it involves a laser, it's really a flash lamp. So inside here you have a filament. It's not coherent light, it's a polychromatic light that emits a flash like a camera flash. We have a red filter because this cuts out the ultraviolet wavelengths that are harmful and we can then keep the red and infrared light that provides the beneficial effects. How does it work? So in practice, the effect on the ocular surface is primarily a thermal effect. It improves the consistency of the mybum, thins out the mybum, but that's not all. There are several mechanisms of action that we still don't understand very well. Regardless, we can see that the morphology of the mybomian glands is better after treatments, but we also see an anti-inflammatory effect on the surface of the eye. We see an anti-infective and anti-parasitic effect, and an anti-demodex effect that has been demonstrated and is really beneficial. And then there may also be an effect on the corneal nerves and the nerves of the ocular surface, in my experience and that of other users, which is really beneficial if it's not constant. Personally, I use it as second or third line treatment with patients who have already had a lot of treatments and who aren't responding. I believe IPL can help them, but it's true that depending on the practice, we could use it much earlier because the effect is very fast and can really be long lasting depending on the patient. A patient who doesn't respond to eyelid care plus antibiotics, for example, could very easily be switched to IPL, given that all treatments on the ocular surface are complementary and the mechanisms of action of IPL really complement antibiotics or lipoflow or artificial tears or eyelid care. It's obviously on an outpatient basis. The patient must not be wearing makeup. You need to explain to them how it works and then depending on the phototype, the color of the skin, we select a power of varying strength. On fair skin, you can use high powers, and the darker skin, the less power you use because the light will be absorbed by the skin pigment. So you have to pay attention to that. The main side effect is skin burn in the case of overdose. Otherwise, in practice, there aren't really any side effects. Flash sessions are done around the eyes, so in the periocular region with glasses, protective glasses like for UV rays. The eyes are closed and then we flash all around and the light will diffuse longitudinally into the skin to reach the mybomian glands. And then with the new protocols or protocols that are a bit more advanced, you can flash directly onto the eyelids. But with that, you need metal shells under the eyelids known as scleral shells. And you flash directly onto the eyelid so you reach the palpable site directly. And we do several flash sessions. So we generally do between six and eight flashes per eye per session. And we do one session every two to four weeks. At the beginning, groups of three to four sessions are carried out to ensure it's effective. And then if it works, we stop and we restart sessions depending on the symptoms. Often it's around every six months that we need to do that. If it doesn't work by the end of the third session, if there is zero effect, personally, I stop doing it. I always start with periocular sessions, and if there is no effect, then I move on to sessions with the flashes directly onto the eyelids. In terms of efficacy, IPL is a very good technology, but you can't expect that it's going to work for everyone. It's like cyclin, like lipoflow, like cyclosporin. Each will be effective in some patients, but not in others. It's part of the treatment toolkit, but it won't be the only treatment in a patient. The main indication is mybomian dysfunction. So evaporative dry eye due to blepharitis and mybomian gland dysfunction. In practice, there are other indications. With any kind of eye pain, it can really have a beneficial effect. Variable, but very beneficial. It can also have an effect on dry eye of other origins. In Sjogren's syndrome, for example, there are studies showing that the, this treatment is effective in Sjogren's syndrome. So as soon as we have a fairly debilitating disease of the ocular surface, we can try and it can work, yes. Can we do it in children? Theoretically, yes, it's a medical device. There is no specific MA. I have no experience of using it in children, but I do think that childhood rosacea and repeated chalazins in children could be indications. There are a few physicians who report that IPL is considerably effective in this field. This is a female patient who has dry eye due to mybomian gland dysfunction. She has a non-atrophic form, but with mybomian hyposecretion and fairly pronounced tear instability. And she also has neuropathic pain. She's resistant to cyclosporin. Meatic plugs helped a little because she has a mixed form. 
She wears scleral lenses and she's also taking doxycycline every other month. And so in terms of her pain, she says it definitely gets better for a period of four to six weeks, but the effect on her pain is almost immediate. That's why I've been seeing her for at least four years. She's been coming back every X months for four years to do her little flash sessions. It goes from zero to 14. Obviously we adjust it based on needs, efficacy and skin pigmentation. And so here our base level is eight. I'm going to make it a little bit weaker today, so seven. I add a little gel that improves and evens out the light transmission. With this Quantel version, there's also a system that ensures the light is distributed very evenly, and there aren't the filaments that you find in other systems. Please close your eyes firmly while I do the flashes. We're going to do four impacts here on the cheeks. I also do one at the temple and one on the forehead. So here I've done the four shots on the side, one at the temple and one up here. We're just going to briefly express the meibomian glands. I've done that with you once before. Some people do it every time, but I find that it's not really necessary. So you have to magnify a bit. You can see that she has her punctal plugs here. It's looking fluid. There are a few glands here that are blocked. One of the main mechanisms of action of IPL is a thermal effect that thins out the mybum and makes it easier to express the meibomian glands. So it's a good idea to take advantage of this thermal effect and express the meibomian glands as it makes this pretty painless. I do two rounds. The first round is used to unblock and the second round really empties the glands. The second patient is a patient who had a lot of different treatments, including autologous serum, which improves it a bit. He had already gone through a lot of treatments, and given that he had eyelid inflammation, I thought it was best to treat the eyelids directly, despite it being the first session, because I thought it would be more effective for him. We're going to do the IPL session, so I'm going to put in some lenses to protect your eyes, because your eyelids are fairly inflammatory. We will do several flashes around the eyes, because that treats the whole of the eyelid area, the periocular area. And then we'll do a flash directly on the eyelids. The flashes around the eyes will feel warm, but it doesn't hurt. The flash on the eye can be a little bit more uncomfortable, but I'm going to turn the intensity down so it affects you less. Often, several sessions need to be carried out at the beginning, spaced three to four weeks apart, and depending on the effectiveness, we'll book in more sessions. I'm going to administer a drop of anesthetic. We don't have to do this, but it's better. It's not so much of the treatment itself, but for the protective shells, so the shells don't bother you too much. The shells will not come into contact with the cornea. They'll fit around the shape of the eye and are applied around the edges of the cornea, so there's no risk of corneal injury or other damage. You know how you use a suction cup? That's similar to how you put in scleral shells, but there's no water inside. You don't put water inside. We apply the shell. First, we slide it under the upper eyelid. Then we place the lower eyelid. For the eyelids, I use an intensity of four. As this is the first time and his eyelids are a little dark, I'm gonna set it at two. When there is a real issue with the eyelids, like inflammation as here, or Dimidex, even in the studies, there are studies that show the palpable flashes work better than periocular flashes, so obviously it's a little bit more complicated to manage. You can also massage onto the shells, and the value of that is you can really work on them because there's the shell behind. So I only do the upper eyelids because I'm going to do the lower ones with forceps. So your meibomian glands are quite blocked and the modern treatments for meibomian gland dysfunction include IPL and heat therapy, or what's called lipoflow. Mechanical techniques for emptying the glands only work if the glands are still permeable, which is not always the case. And with IPL, which is a complex mode of action and is quite different, it can work even if the glands are very, very blocked because it has an effect on inflammation and infection.